Hi there. Welcome back to Feral Art. How you doing? Um, today I am all discombobulated. I got these paints. Bought them from one of those little Facebook things. It's like $21 and you get, I think, 12. Yeah, 12 acrylic paint colors. The painter level. Um, they're 50 mil a piece. And I said, sure, I'll buy those and I'll just do a little review for them. Had the card. Lost the card. Don't know where I got these. So, that being said, I've mixed up five of them. Mixed up the green light, black, phthalo blue, rose, and wet titanium wet to be exact um <coughs> i mixed them up with my regular gel gloss pouring medium uh i don't know i don't ever measure i just go by feel um in a five ounce cup maybe an ounce of pouring medium maybe an ounce of paint and uh, i don't know a couple of ounces of floatrol guess um they mixed up pretty nice. The, the, uh, okay, here we go. Oh, you can't see that it's black. What am I doing? Stupid. Let's, let's get the white. Let me see. Oh. Here's the white. Consistency wise, it's pretty nice. Mound on a mound, sinking pretty quick, um, which is exactly what I look for in paint so yes i am putting green and pink in the same pour quit having your heart attack and clutching your pearls uh i have a 16 by 20 level 3 artist lost canvas tired of keeping those gonna raise this up just a little bit point it down just a little bit there we go 16 by 20 seems awfully small nowadays um, the only paint in this exploration that is not the Yolita paint is Deco Art 24K, which is groovy. Because I gotta have a little sparkle in here. I don't know about y'all, but it just ain't right if I don't. Go and put it in here and just go and put a little water in with it because I want to pour into a puddle of this um i think i'm just gonna do your typical straight galaxy well i'm gonna start it off with the idea of it being a galaxy pour um <clears throat> for a 16 by 20 i need about 11 and a half ounces it's a 16 ounce cup i have one two three four five i have about 20 ounces there a few more ounces here we should be fine. I'm kind of tired of having white in the middle. So I think I'm just going to start off with the black. Not a huge amount of it, but you know, so I'm going to go to green. I know.
are scary. They're kind of cool. Wow, that is a lot of colors right there. That is a lot of colors. Okay. Let's see if we can't use up some of these ragtaggedy ends of stuff here. like colors from the the northern lights all like <laughs> this is where the colors from the northern lights meet up and then they all go their separate ways and disperse um let's give this another torch this is like joe bob's bar where the northern lights hang <laughs> I mean, you know, whatever. So I'm just gonna get some corners and take care of a few things. And I'll clean this up and bring y'all back in. Okay, so here are the wet results of my test. 
of these Yolita paints. We're going nuts with gold shells over here, gold pearls, which is kind of weird, but okay, cool. And over here, um, I dig the blue. I think the blue is really pretty. Um, the green, I am not a fan of the green. Uh, the black is, I don't know, the colors just aren't that strong, which leads me to believe that the pigment is not that good. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I probably wouldn't buy these again. I am not that big of a fan. That's not to say I hate this painting. I still think it looks like the neighborhood dive bar where the Northern Lights get together and are like, okay, Jerry, tonight you have the Alaskan Quadrant. And Bob, you have, you know, Middle Canada or whatever. And they tell each other where to go. I don't know. I don't know. Not that, not that tickled with it. Um, don't hate it. Probably wouldn't buy them again. But there are some neat cells, like down in here, that turned out kind of a cool way, I guess. These look like cactuses with little blooms on the ends. But anyway, there we are. Voila. Here are the dried results of my Galaxy Pour with the tested out paints. Um, got a lot, a lot of gold pearls in this one. And that is from that gold puddle that I poured into. The green really did interesting things with the gold. It like clumped into little islands and while I do like the lines I'm just not real fond of how the paint didn't hold together um, I did pour it with my regular gel gloss medium so I'm not real sure why that happened except it's just paint quality so it's an interesting pour. Got some fingerlings, got some cells. Got a lot of those girl gold pours. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. And you know, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment, hit the bell so you'll know when I'm making new content. Let me know what you think about this one. I'm not sure about it myself. So thanks to everybody who comes week after week. Y'all are my spirit. Have a good one, y'all. Bye-bye. Okay, here are the dry results of my latest Enso pour. I am 100% thrilled with this. I love the way that background came out. It's just shimmery and shiny and beautiful. I love the colors in the whole painting composition tickles me half to death um i just really really dig it um i don't really know what else to say you guys i mean you know sometimes you just gotta let the work speak for itself um it shows up in this video very much darker than it actually is because, you know, cameras, it's weird. Um, but it's very, like, very electric blue. I really like it. I wish that you could see the actual color of the thing. But it seems to not want to show you. So, sorry about my janky garage there. Anyway... I think it turned out really pretty. It's very shiny. Um, I don't know. I don't think I can really get the... It's heavy. <laughs> eh. Anyway, there we go. All right. All right. 
Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for joining me. And uh, there we go. I don't really want my easel to eat my painting. So uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining. See you next time. Thank you.